In today's video, I'm in my basement bringing you all kinds of cleaning motivation. I'm dusting all the things, I'm sweeping all the things, I'm mopping all the things, I even show you how I repair some rest spots on my washer. Then I end this video with a satisfying clean of my teenage son's bathroom. Can you say yuck? So pop my video on your TV, tablet, or phone and clean along with me or sit back and relax with your favorite drink and stockpile this cleaning motivation for future use. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like my video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell notification for more inspiring motivational videos. Let's be friends on Instagram too. You can find me at at home with Elizabeth. friends, we are in my basement today and I am starting off by sandpapering this spot where you put your bleach in your washer. Uh, mine has like a little plastic cup that goes in it and over the last couple years it's been getting um, like the paint's been eaten away. I'm sure it's from the bleach and it's just, it's just been getting worse and worse and worse and I bought the spray paint to fix it months and months and months ago like when we first moved into the house and I just I've just not got around to it. And today I'm like, I'm getting around to it. I thought I'm gonna just not do any laundry today and I'm just going to get this done. So I'm using a Rust-Oleum primer type paint um, that is for rust. And I end up doing um, several coats on it. I don't show you all of them. Um, I only show you just right there and then I show you a little later in the video, me putting another um, coat on it. So while that's drying, I have got my Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice and we've moved into the family room and we're getting my TV dusted and we're getting my end table and my coffee table dusted. this is my little tree that I got from Target. There were blankets on the ground and when I was moving my camera to show from the end table to the coffee table, I stepped there and I heard a crunch and I didn't know what it was. Well, that's what it was. I broke the stem on that. Um, I still haven't got it fixed. My guess is I'm not gonna get it fixed till next Halloween. It's just one of those things that's just not on top of my list. All right, so we have moved to my couch. We are getting it vacuumed, and I'm just going to get my pillows put on it nicely and the couple of blankets that we keep down here. Of course, I was just getting the dog's toys in their kennels because we keep them down here now. I'm getting my ottoman vacuumed off and I'm going to stick it right here to the right. That door is our storage unit. I'm sticking in there for right now because it's just, we're not using it, but I, we're just not ready to get rid of it yet. So we're just gonna stick it in there. Um, now I'm moving my coffee table and we're gonna get my Dyson V10 and we're going to get this rug swept. I wanna welcome you or welcome you back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name's Elizabeth. I'm a 50 year old wife and stay at home mom to seven adult slash teenage children. I have two girls age 26 and 22. They both live outside the home. I have three boys age 19, 16, and 15. My 19 year old is in his sophomore year of college and is only here during long breaks and my 16 and 15 year old are here full time. I also have two bonus boys. They're 15 year old twins. They're my nephews that I got custody of a few years ago. You'll find cleaning videos on my channel. Um, lots of cleaning motivation, lots of cleaning inspiration. You'll find a little bit of decor videos, um, a little bit of home improvement videos since we just moved into this house in May of 2024. And um, you'll find lots of real life. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'd love to have you subscribe and hang out with us. We have a lot of fun around here.
I know my camera is being a butthole, but like there's dirt here from my son, you know, walking in the door. So let's get that wiped up. Um, yeah, that wiped right up. It doesn't really get dusty. That is so sweet. I'm probably going to need to repaint these doors. Like, just, just a crappy job done. All right, friends. Um, after my introduction, and then I was just talking about the door jams and stuff there on my youngest son's room, um, I was just Breaking down some boxes, I'm sure my basement is like everyone else's basement. When you get extra things, you just toss them down the steps and they get piled. So I just need to get them broke down and get them into the storage unit so we can get them out to recycling the next time it comes. And then I was in my hallway just dusting my bench and vacuuming the rug and the floor there. And now I am in the family room with my Timeco Smart Wet Dry Mop. It is, I believe, the S5. Um, if you would like the link, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and I'll send that to you. And you'll notice, and I think I've mentioned this before in a couple of my other videos with my basement, I do vacuum a lot more down here, um, even though it's hardwood, because my children are involved in sports um, and they all are always on the turf and if you've ever been on turf or had children or know anything about turf wrestling season as I was saying if you know anything about turf it has little rubber pellets in it that help cushion it I do not want to sweep them up in my wet dry mop. I don't know if it'll clog it and stuff because of the way the, uh, like it has the, the brush, it, cause it's so tight there to squeeze all the extra water out. So I do vacuum a lot down here, especially in the areas of the hallway, which is around both my boys' room, here in front of the laundry area and in front of the back door, because that's where they're with their shoes, taking their shoes off, walking to their rooms, or I am like sorting their their clothes in front of the washer. So I do sweep a lot down here um, before I mop. But we are not right now in a sport that has the field. As you saw, I had a singlet because we have literally already started wrestling season. Um, my youngest son actually already had a wrestling tournament, which he did wonderful at. He won three and lost one and got second place. So that's good for him. Here is one of the downsides of my little cart that I keep my laundry stuff on. And I don't think it's me. I believe it's my husband and everyone else. They are so sloppy with my powder tide. And so I had a ton of powder tide there on the floor that I had to get swept up. Um, but it's okay. Like I said, it's, I'd rather do that than have be reaching up and down on that big shelf. All right. So now that we have got all the vacuuming done in the laundry area and here in the hallway, we're going to start mopping again and we're just going to follow the yellow brick road. No, we're not following yellow brick road. We're just going to follow around the basement, um, getting stuff swept and getting stuff mopped. So friends, I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload this. Today is Friday, November 8th. Um, it's actually my husband and I's anniversary. Um, we have been married 27 years. We were, we were married in 1997. So whatever that is, I'm pretty sure it's 27 years. Um, but I am so ahead that I think I'm going to give you guys a bonus video next week. And I think I'm going to upload this on Monday. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be seeing this on Monday. The... 11th of November, um, which is actually Veterans Day here in the United States. Uh, and then you'll also have a video on Thursday. But I want to let you know that on Tuesday the 5th, I had my surgery for my basal cell carcinoma and everything went wonderful. 
Um, I think Thursday's video, I will insert some pictures or maybe I'll upload a small little bonus video to show anyone who kind of wants to know like what it looks like um, because some of the pictures are very graphic but I do want to share it with you guys not only with you guys but in case anyone you know gets diagnosed with this and they are searching YouTube for it um, so just kind of information but my surgery went well they only had to do three cuts and they got everything I had nice clean borders I got all stitched up and I am three days post-op and I am feeling fine. Um, I'm still on some restrictions, mostly because it's a head wound and it's very like, this skin is very delicate up there. So I have like some lifting restrictions and stuff like that. Um, but I'm doing good and I wanna thank you guys for all your thoughts and prayers and just your good vibes. I felt them all, um, and I just, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. But I'm doing good and I will keep you guys updated. All right, as I was talking again, we are just moving around the basement. We are here by our back door, um, my little mudroom area. And what I just did there is I thought I heard a rock in my sweeper and I did not want to scrape the floor because I actually did that at our old house. Um, so I was just checking my my head there on my vacuum. I didn't see anything. It must have just been something rattling around inside of it. It wasn't stuck. I need to actually get a head for my vacuum that doesn't have those beater brushes for the basement here because I don't want to scratch our um, laminate floor because the kids do, I mean, not even the kids, the dogs, even my husband and I, we do bring rocks into this basement when we come in and out. So there, like I did my younger son's door, I noticed that this back door just had just minimal dirty handprints on it. So we just gave it a quick wipe down before we started mopping here. And friends, you will notice when I, I'm going to have to empty my dirty water tank here in just a minute, you'll notice that there's not as much dirt and stuff down here. And I truly believe that's because I vacuumed a little bit before I started mopping. My guess is if I would not have swept much, there would have been a lot more dirt and debris in my Tyneco water tank. The water is still pretty dirty though. All right, I'm just showing you how I have been just coming back like after an hour and putting a new coat on that um, and that was not the last coat I did I did do two more coats even after this I don't show them because they're actually later in the evening um, but it looks pretty good I mean it looks better than what it was before and so we are just kind of giving my washer and dryer here a quick dusting um, I did mention back when I was doing my son's dresser that my basement doesn't get a lot of dust but my washer and dryer do get dusty and I think it's from the lint and stuff And of course, there's my pups, always near mom, always in the way of the camera. Oh my goodness. Pups, you're so lucky you're cute. We're just getting my rugs back down here, friends. Here's where it signaled that my dirty water tank was full. So as you can see, there is still some stuff, but not a ton. Um, and again, I, I really think that's because I'm vacuuming before I mop. Um, so I'm going to get the debris and put it in the trash, and then we're just going to dump it. This is my slop sinks here in the basement. We're just gonna dump the dirty water, get my sinks rinsed out, and get back to mopping.
Friends, I told you before that I bought the Bona concentrate that is made for machines. I have not used it down here on this laminate yet, only because I'm still finishing up the one Tyneco that I got from Walmart. It's a citrus flavor. I like it upstairs on our real hardwood floor, so I'm sure I'm going to like it down here on this laminate, but I just, I wanna use up the other stuff that I bought before before I buy a second bottle for down here. Um, so yeah, I don't know how the bone is gonna look down here. Also friends, you're only gonna see about 30 seconds of me folding stuff here. My battery died and I just, it was just kind of a little bonus footage, just kind of showing you what I'm, I was doing during the day. So it's gonna cut out here real soon. But I do finish doing all those towels and put them away. Most of them went down here in the bathroom because they're the white towels we use to wipe the dog's feet and stuff. All right, just a small water pour there from just the last little bit that I had to do. And I am cleaning it out and rinsing it really well here, but I do take it upstairs later. I don't show up, but I take it upstairs later and scrub it out real good and let it dry up there. I wanna get maybe one of those drying racks that go across the sinks to put down here so that I can let this stuff dry down here. All right, friends, I am finally going to give my slop sinks a good scrubbing with my Scrub Daddy Ghost and my Dawn Platinum. I haven't cleaned it since we moved in, and I really didn't think it was going to come that clean. I thought it was pretty um, stained, as you can see how dirty that thing is, but it's not. It looks brand new. Like, especially, look right now at my um, faucet. You can see how the half is like super clean. Like I thought it was stained like with like water mineral stuff. It's not, it just needed wiped. Um, so yeah, I'm just giving this, finally this slop sink a good cleaning and it looks beautiful. Especially this side really needs it because like our washer drains, so it gets a lot of soap scum. And I do show you my scrub daddy and show you the soap scum on it. You see all that soap scum? <laughs> Yuck. Um, yeah, it needed a good scrub. I'm glad I was able to do it. Here is the tour of my teenager's very filthy bathroom. Um, this was actually the same day that I cleaned, but I got busy and after this couldn't come down and film anymore. So the actual cleaning is the next day, which is why I'm in a different outfit. Um, but we are just getting the stuff in the toilet to let it soak. We're gonna get our mirror cleaned and then we're going to move to the sink and start scrubbing it. Now I only had my Lysol wipes down here or they're the great value brands. I really need to get a bottle of the scrubbing bubbles that I spray in our upstairs main bathroom because this sink gets very, um, like the stuff gets dried on. See, as you can see, this is fast forwarded like times four and it is a minute long. So which means it took me eight minutes to actually clean the sink, like scrub all that stuff off of it. Alright, 
we've moved to the toilet and it's just dusty. We're just getting all the dust and stuff off and a little bit of like gunk, especially here like under the toilet. I did finally buy a real toilet seat that pops off down here. I just, I couldn't stand not having a pop off one. And friends, I gotta tell you, I probably will not show me cleaning this bathroom too often because it is so hard to film in here while I clean because it's so small. I wish you could see on the floor. I mean, can you see the splatters of urine? Look at that. Ugh, that is the real, the raw, and the disgusting, friends. So yeah, friends, I, I tell you, as I always tell you, I'm never gonna sugarcoat things for you guys. I'm never gonna be like, my house isn't dirty. My house is, my house is filthy. I live with teenage boys and they're gross. Even when they're not trying to be gross, they're gross. We are just wiping up all the urine and dust. And I'm gonna show you at the end, I actually am not gonna use my Tyneco in the bathroom down here. It's so small and I didn't really like the couple times I've, I've used it. Um, I'm not, I don't feel like it's getting clean enough, so I'm actually going to get my um, O Cedar mop and mop down here in this bathroom. And you're gonna see when I fill my mop bucket, I actually use the Tyneco solution and like the tiniest bit of Dawn Platinum. I felt so much better after I mopped, like I felt like the floor was actually clean. All right friends, we have, I don't know, a minute, two minutes left, two and a half minutes. Um, we're just going to clean this very filthy, dirty shower that has needed clean so bad. Um, and then I'm going to close this video out for you guys um, but I want to thank you for being here I appreciate every single one of you so much if you could can you go ahead and give this video a like a thumbs up it just lets YouTube know that you like this kind of content um, and it will not only show you more of my videos but it will show you other creators creators videos that are like mine Oops, come on there. It also lets YouTube know that this is an interesting video that other people might like. If you feel so inclined to give me a comment, I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, why the heck not? I love to have you here. I have some of the best supporters and subscribers on YouTube. They're so kind, they're so funny, they're so supportive, and I would love for you to join them. Um, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and then after you do that, hit the bell notification so that you never miss another one of my videos. Um, right now, I'm releasing on Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with every once in a while a bonus video thrown in, maybe on a Monday, maybe on another day. Um, but friends, I would love to have you here. And I'm just finishing up this shower, and then I'm going to mop, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, friends.